Our electrical heated vest is a great piece of kit to keep you warm when diving in cold conditions or on chilly days spent outdoors. It's made from a flexible 3mm black neoprene and has a snug fleece inner lining, making it very comfortable whilst also insulating and reflecting heat back onto the body. So even if the vest is turned off, there will still be noticeable thermal benefits. First, check that the smart lithium ion battery is sufficiently charged. To check the power level, press the button on the side to turn the battery on. The number displayed on the screen indicates the percentage of charge. It also has a handy torch. Simply press the button twice to activate and twice again to switch off. If the battery is low, charge it using the USB lead provided. Once sufficiently charged, connect the battery to the USB output found in the battery pack pocket. Make sure the battery is turned on if it isn't already. Then carefully tuck the battery into the pocket and seal the Velcro. The vest is now ready for you to activate. When donned, you will find the vest's on off switch towards the left of the midriff. This switch allows you to not only activate the vest, but also control which of the three heat settings you would like to select. Simply press and hold the button for a couple of seconds to activate the vest. Then press and release to switch between the different heat settings. The colour of the button will identify which heat setting is selected. The options are red for high power at 50 degrees, with a maximum 3 hours and 10 minutes run time. Blue for mid power at 40 degrees with a maximum time of four and a half hours. And green for low power at 25 degrees with a maximum run time of six and a half hours. To turn the vest off, simply press the button for a couple of seconds and release. Hi, so I've had my Northern Diver electric or heated vest for about six months now. Bought it in the build-up to winter, knowing I was going on, on a rebreather course and that I would struggle in the water because I've got a very low tolerance for cold water. Um, I had no experience of a heated vest before and, and thought for the price it was going to cost me, it would be ideal to add to my set of kit and, and give me extra time in the water. So I'd gone from maybe 20 minutes, half an hour last winter, really struggling in the water, certainly just to maintain sort of posture in there because I was usually quite still taking pictures with my camera, not really moving around, generating any heat. Thought if I had this, I'll probably get some longevity to, to those dives. And then getting on my rebreather, they wanted 80 minutes at a time, which I think, oh, it's horrendous. And I didn't want to be focusing on how cold it was. I wanted to be focusing on how comfortable it was and getting on with the job and the training that I was being given. Um, so then I bought myself one just before, like I said, in the end of autumn, start of winter, and I found it really good. I've worn it outside of the water as well, on a couple of nature walks, taking a bit of photography of like birds and stuff out and about when it was really cold during the winter. So it starts off on red, which is the hottest setting, and you can flick down to sort of middle of the road, and then down to green, which is the coolest. It's all powered by this USB battery pack that's in, it, in the side here. And you see it says 94, that's 94%. And you just turn it on and off by pressing this little power button on the side so you can turn it off there. 
and then it's dead easy. You just unplug the power cable and it charges just off a small lead that you can plug into your van, your car, or even into a socket in the wall in the house. So ideal for less than hundred pound, probably the best piece of kit I've bought that's added a lot of value to my dive time and my enjoyment of diving in the winter. Added to that, I've got a Northern Diver undersuit, which goes over the top, builds up a few more layers. And then I've started to wear the Northern Diver Dive Master neoprene dry suit. So I am so toasty in the water come the winter. It's like diving in a wetsuit in the summer in the middle of uh, the Red Sea. I'm that comfortable. Now, what it isn't is super hot, which is, I think, by a lot of people thinking they're going to wear electric undersuits, they're going to be, or heated undersuits, they're going to be too hot in the water. That's not the case. It is on the surface because that heat doesn't really have anywhere to go. But in the water, the water, the heat transfers quite a lot. So what you find is you're just comfortable in the water. You're not too cold, you're not too hot. There's a nice middle sort of ground there. So you're just where you want to be. So I tend to dive it on the full temperature in the water. And when I get out, it's a little bit too warm. So perhaps knock it down to the middle of the road or down to the coolest setting. An absolute ideal product, the Electricore heated vest from Norman Diver. Thanks, guys.